All right. Aside from the option to align to five different tangential curves, the Smart Tractor also offers the option to set precisely the pivot to spindle distance, or what we call today in modern terms P2S. Now let's determine what is the P2S of the given mounted Brinkmann 12.1 toner. We have already seen in the video showing the tangential alignment that we need the spindle adapter with the three rings to accommodate the spindle on the specific turntable. So we place the smart tractor over the spindle. Nice snug fit, no play. To get to the pivot to spindle, we have to rotate again the positioning arm. The uni P2S dubbed point for measuring the pivot to spindle distance is the one even the lowest clockwise reading even behind the uni D. So we unlock again. Pull out the screw. Take the acrylic arm and rotate. Till we see that the helping line going through the center is exactly in line with the uni P2S. Now you will notice to measure precisely uni P2S or the pivot to spindle distance, you of course need to get exactly over the center of the spindle. So you slide the whole block forward and then you see that on the other side there's exactly a hole underneath which is a very different position compared to all the other holes before, you lock again in place right in that hole. Now the positioning arm is exactly over the center of the spindle. You unlock it. it Take the stainless steel pin again. You rotate towards the desired tone arm to measure the distance. Tight again. The pin is sitting exactly in the center of the pivot, also clearly marked on the brink mount. And if you look at the invert vernier scale now, you see exactly that the pivot to spindle distance is set to 292.0 millimeters. Any derivation, even the slightest, means a derivation of even 0.05 millimeter would be indicated on the Vernier scale. And you see that all but the final line directly over the given center is slightly off with a corresponding line on the scale. So we have exactly arrived at 292 millimeters. Can't measure more precisely with any given mechanical instrument which you can easily operate yourself at home. You unlock again, pull out the stainless steel pin, put it back again in the box of the smart tractor. You unlock the positioning arm screw, push back the positioning arm till the 18, the end of the scale, is exactly or backly around the outer left of the positioning block. You we want to put it back into the box, so we have to put back the positioning arm in the position where we all started and where it fits into the box, which is parallel to the outer edge. We have to slide back, which is all easy. Take the screw again and lock in place. So the smart tractor is now 
the original position where it is in the box. And this is exactly where we put it back now. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you got a good impression how easy the smart tractor is to use and how easy it is to really get the most precise results. Thank you very much.